all right guys welcome back to the channel just as you can see right here i'm currently on the market chart analyzing the market to see if i can be profitable on the market right so what i'm seeing right here is a sell all right but i'm gonna wait and analyze more plan my trade you know as you can see i have a book here that i used to to write you know to stretch out my strategy to make sure my strategy is correct before i enter into the market before placing any entry for either a buy or a sell entry position right so guys after I analyze this market, I'm going to head outside, you know, just chill in the environment, take some cool breeze, you know, relax my temperature, you know, cool my mind, you know, and head back to the market chart to see what I can do on the market to make some profit on the market. Yeah, you know, while it's making profit, while it's winning, guys, while it's having a win trade on our channel right here, guys. So after I analyze, I'm going to head outside and see you guys outside. So this is my first video series on a day in the life of a day trader so as you all know i'm a day trader and i'm into different type of trading i trade crypto i trade boom and crash indices such as synthetic indices and also vix volatility 7 to 5 step index and also trade the us 30 market the don joe's and also you know currency pairs i sometimes trade commodities you know gold and i trade stocks sometimes right so this is just a normal day of me sitting outside in a peaceful environment you know before i get into my analysis my charts you know i trade full time i trade in a day from you know nine to five then i end my daily section of trading i don't trade in the night because in the night i like to rest my head you know have a good sleep so that i can calm my head you know so that when the next day reach i'll be able to analyze the market chart properly right so that is what you need to do as a trade trader so here's a quick one here so if you are trading you know and on the market charts and what you should do to become a good professional trader on your trading what you need to do is to follow your analysis follow your strategy follow your trading plan all right you want to stick to one strategy at a time and you want to stick to one currency pair at a time for you to trade your trading right so you don't want to be switching up and down you know you're going to lose focus i remember when you're in a trade you want to focus on you know the chart 247 if you place a trade let your eye be on that market chart do not take your eye away from the chart do not go to the next room you know to take anything you want to take let them bring it for you let your friend your sibling your cousin you know bring whatever you need all you need to do is focus on the chart the market chart because if you take your eyes off the chart anything can go wrong from the chart and you, you might end up having a bad day trade all right so i've been there i've experienced it that's why i'm telling you guys that focus on your chart focus or focus on your strategy one strategy at a time you know what you need to do is just better one particular currency pair plan your strategy analyze your trade properly for you to have a profitable trade on the market and if you're trading guys always have your friends around you know your friends who is a trader like you so let's for example now you are a beginner trader you don't want to be trading alone so that you don't get caught up with emotions right so whenever you're trading and if you're a beginner trader you end up losing a trade you'll be so emotional on your trade and you trust me you don't want to be so emotional on your trade right let's say you place a trade and the trade didn't go the way you planned it to go then you start increasing your loss size you know for you to make up that losses you have made from that trade and you end up blowing all your accounts so that's not the best way to go always have your friends around even one friend you know just to you know take you through the process you guys to be in the process and you trade perfectly all right you want to enjoy your trading time you know have fun trading because you know trading is a boring job to do because yeah trading forex trading is a job you know and it's kind of boring when you're doing it alone so you want to have a friend who is a trader like you who thinks like you because only traders understand traders you can't you don't want to be with someone who is not trading you know you don't want to be with someone who is not a trader like you so only traders understand traders so when you're trading have your friends around you know tell them ah bro this is how the chart is going come on like come on bro let's see how we can analyze this chart this chart to place our entry for the next step and be profitable yeah but if you talk to a non-trader you won't understand what's going on on the market chart and i believe that 
when you start trading when you saw the market chart you didn't even know what was going on on the market until you started learning the process over and over again before you became more familiar on what's going on on the market right so that's how it is you want to be with your friend you you know you want to find someone that is a trader who likes trading or who likes doing what you are doing who is interested in your particular type of trading so that that person can also encourage you on your trading journey and you know want to calm you down whenever you're having emotions on your trade all right so i'm gonna just tell you guys five key things a trader needs to be more focused and to increase their you know their trading ability and their trading skills right now the first thing you need to know is emotional discipline yeah you want to control your emotion then you want to be good in your psychology right your psychology and also you want to go in analysis all right you want to be able to analyze your trade properly and also risk management you want to be able to manage your risk you need a proper risk management don't say you have a hundred dollar account you want to put all your funds all your money you want to go all out all margin no you don't want to do that because you end up blowing that account so you want to start with little so if you have a bad hundred dollar account let's say you want to risk 10 percent of it yeah you want to risk 10 percent or 20 percent of the hundred dollar account you know you want to start little by little so the more profit you're gaining the more profit then you're increasing the loss size little by little increasing your loss size and that's how you end up being profitable in a day yeah you end up being profitable in a day all right so i'm gonna end this video right here and i hope you enjoyed this video that you have just watched so if you enjoy watching this video do it to like and subscribe yeah i'm going to continue more on you know this series a day in the life of a day trader here yeah? i'm a day trader like i said so i hope you like this one guys Peace.